Don, there were a number of stories this year that captured the interest of all the community. But from the standpoint of interest, I don't see how one could help from thinking first of the spaceship landing at Kelly and the little green men that it carried. From the time I first heard the story, I predicted that in 24 hours it would spread to the length and breadth of this nation. Nothing perhaps has ever occurred in this community that was so fantastic. The story was hard to believe, yet no one has come forward to disprove it. Of course, people were dubious when they heard it. Hello? Bob? This is Horror. Spaceship has landed Kelly and little green men all over the place. Oh, wait just a minute. Who would you say this was speaking? It's a reader. I said a spaceship has landed Kelly and little green men all over the place. I just came from there. Made a picture. Wait just a minute. You mean to tell me that you got a picture of the little green men in the spaceship? No, I didn't get that, but I got a picture of the man in the baby's home. All right, now let's go back to the beginning here now. You said the spaceship landed. It was the summer of 1969 that I had last seen this little community. Mom was going to try and show us where it had all happened on that infamous night back in 1955. I think that's the place. Right there. Uh, Mom, are you sure? It looks different than it did 36 years ago. Back then there was only like fields and farmland. I think it is, but I'm really not sure myself. So this is the place. It doesn't look like much. Just a wide spot in the road with some churches and houses. Like most wide spots in the road around here. I remember back when the little men came. We heard about it the first thing the next morning. Your daddy came over to make sure that we were all okay. But you know, Mom, everything that was ever written about that morning said that daddy left out that morning first thing. Well, he and Hubert were good friends and he came over to make sure that we were all okay. That's it. That's all. They left after that. Well, okay, but you know what? I want you to finish your story because I want to see what Chris thinks about it. Well, me and the kids were home by ourselves, of course. All at once, we hear footsteps walking across the front porch. All of our hearts stopped. There was no one there to help us. I did the only thing I knew to do. Well, the footsteps kept walking. The first thing I thought was that the little men were back and they were coming to get us. Well, I wasn't going to let them come in my house and get my babies, so I did what Elmer did. I shot through the door. Oh my gosh. And mom, what was it? Uh, it was the cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a good story. It's a wonder I didn't hit her. She was lucky that I wasn't such a good shot with that gun.
My dad saw something that night. Sure, I do. I know they had to have seen something. Uh, I just wish there was some kind of proof to prove to the world they were really there. Well, you know, I I know something happened that night. I know it was something not of this world. What I, I have no idea. But you know, it'll probably remain a mystery till the day the old earth is gone. That's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a great story, and the mystery of it makes it special. And the only thing I hate about the whole thing is what my family had to really go through afterwards. But it's a good story. Good story. Looking out the window, I do what I do all the time when riding in a vehicle. Look up at the sky. This is a habit that I can't seem to break. Ever since that day, the man and woman came to talk to my dad about the little men. At first, I wondered if what he was telling us was just a story, something made up, and these people were here just to hear him talk. But then I realized, as I watched him, that this was real. He wasn't making anything up. Being only eight years old, hearing a story like this put a great fear in me, one that will probably die with me the same as it did with my dad. This is our alien legacy. You sure your mama doesn't mind us all piling in on her? No, oh, she don't mind. She always likes company. I love Miss Glenny and her good home cooking. Lucky, tell me now why you love me so much. Here, you know why I love you. Mom, it's Elmer! Well, what do we have here? Well, Lucky Sutton, did the circus finally give you a break? <laughs> I haven't seen you two in a while. We've missed you, Miss Glenny. Are you sure we're not imposing that? Nonsense, you two are welcome anytime. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, thank you so much. Hello, Mama. Hi there. I told Bill and June if they need to come home with me and get some of your good cooking. Well, it looks like y'all need something in your bellies. You look like bean poles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you all get on in here, and we're going to get supper finished cooked up. I'll be up in the morning on the farm.
Hey, OP, you doing any hunting fishing lately? It's been a while, actually. I've been busy with the farm. Yeah, I can imagine that. Well, how about uh, you say we get up in the morning and we'll try our luck because of the fish? Yes, sir. That sounds good. Sounds like a good plan to me. Hey, Lucky, can I have one? Finally, you know Mama whooped your ass a man too for you smoke. Boy, don't you know smoking will stunt your growth? Oh, really? Why are you so tall? Supper is just about ready. You don't have to tell me twice. I guess we were going to eat. Grandma and JC had to tell Billy and June about some more of the things Daddy had done growing up. They sat and played cards and talked. Family friend Opie Baker was also there, and every once in a while he would put his two cents worth in. Lucky, you remember that summer when you ate that night crawler? <laughs> we had gone down to Old Man Lacey's pond to do a little fishing. You were, what, about 12 at the time? Yeah, I was 12. Uh, right, Eileen, you were there and we took JC with us. I think he was like seven or eight. Yep, I remember that day very well. I think I laughed for weeks after that every time I'd see Elmer. <laughs> well, we were down at the pond. Everybody had their lines in the water. And something had caught JC's eye and he took off over to the other side of the pond. Well, no sooner than he left his pole, something snagged on it and it started moving. Lucky lunged for it, completely forgetting that he had a night crawler the size of a small snake in his mouth. I'll never forget it. Next thing you know, Elmer has swallowed that worm. That thing was huge. And he didn't realize what he'd done because he was so proud he caught that pole. A pretty good sized fish on the end. Well, we all stood there with, I know, shocked looks on our faces. He just turned around with that big fish, all smiles. <laughs> yep, and when he noticed the odd looks on our faces, he asked what was wrong. When we told him about the eating the nightcrawler thing, he just stood there for a second, and then he rubbed his belly and said, that's some good eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can we please about the game? I ate one of my 12 years old. <laughs> I'll always love you, wormy birth and all. That's why I love you so much, girl. You're such a good woman. It had turned out to be a fine evening for the family. Daddy was happy. It was good to be home. Y'all just about ready? Just a little. Yeah, we're just about ready. Let me grab my Bible. What do you think we're going to learn in Sunday school today? Geometry. Geometry? I think not. Probably more about <laughs> Noah and his ark. Mary, did you forget something? Sorry. Mommy, I'll be careful. We'll see y'all when you get home. Hey, Brother Ray. Since uh, Mom and him come to church, and he took the kids and all, and what do you think uh, me and you were out of town to see Frank and Junior? I think that sounds like a swell idea. But hey, do you think we have to take the girls? Well, I had to. Go talk to Vera, because she, she probably wanted to go, and I have to let her know I'm going. So she, she probably want to go. Okay. If we have to. Yeah, we better go find the master. I just love it out here in the country. It's so different than the hectic life in the circus. I know. I never want to leave. Hey, Vera. Bit early at night. I'm going to go in town see Frank Jr. I want to go. Yes. Come on. I would love to. Well, Taylor Ray, I told you they want to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It had been a while since Dad had seen his brothers, Frank and Junior. It had turned out to be a good day, and Dad was hating for it to end. It was good to see his brothers and to know that everyone was doing well. He knew it wouldn't be long till they would have to pack up and go back to work. 
The days in the carnival could be long ones, and he was waiting for the day that he could come home and just settle down. He was ready for a family and a place to park his shoes every night. We get you, Mary. No, you won't. Hey! Next time, Lonnie. Hey. Ah! Don't. Ah! You're in charge. Oh, oh, you got your back. Oh, oh, you're charging. 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 Oh, oh
Well, why yes, Lucky? Let me go get your water for you. Let me do whatever you want, Lucky. What in the world is that? I don't know what that is, but that old dog has the right idea. I'm going back inside. What's going on, Billy Ray? Billy Ray, what in the play is wrong with you? Billy Ray, what's the matter? Come on, Billy, you better get your mouth pulled all night. Now the cat's got your tongue, and you need to open that door back up. It's going to get hot in here. All right. All right. You've got to believe me. I'll tell you what happened, but you have to believe me. Come on, Billy Ray, tell us what's wrong. Lucky, I saw something flying across the sky out there. All right, all right, Billy. We see things all the time. You sure with the bird or a shoot star or a meteor? We can have a few meteor showers, you know. No! No, it wasn't a bird. I don't know what a damn bird looks like. It was something round that was flying through the sky. It had like all the colors of the rainbow streaming behind it. Now, Billy Ray, calm down. There's no sense in using those types of words. We've got small children in the house. Besides, Elmer said it was probably one of them meteor showers. We've been having them all month. Miss Lynn, listen, you have to believe me. I don't know what this was, but Lucky, even your old dog, it's, it went running under the house at the same time I saw it. Like something was chasing it. It had its tail tucked between its legs and everything. June, honey, you believe me, right? You've got to believe me. Please, tell me you believe me. All right, Billy, to calm it down. <laughs> Listen, this is not a joke. All right, all right, Billy Ray. I'll go back out there if you go with me. Let's go see what's going on, Blue. Come on. Wait. You go first. <laughs> well, what'd you say, Billy Ray? I don't see anything. Look, Lucky. I saw something over there. I don't see nothing, Billy. I promise you I saw something. Look, I'm not trying to get one over on you. I'm not yeah, trying to Billy. play a joke. You know, you always trying to play jokes when they get back to me when you have done something. Now, come on. I know, but this is not like those times. I don't see anything, Billy. You have to believe me. I saw something over there. I've never seen anything like it. it just calm down. It's probably just the heat playing tricks on you. You know, it's been hot out here, and it makes you see things sometimes that don't look to, to be real. I mean, you, you get, but it's just been hot. It's probably just your eyes playing tricks on you. Just calm down. There's nothing out here. I don't see anything, Billy. Probably right. It's probably, it's probably this Kentucky heat. Yeah, God. See? I told you, I told you! I told you I, I wasn't lying! Let's, let's, let's get in the house! No, I told you I wasn't lying! I told you I told you the truth! Come on, Lucky, get in here! Lucky, what is wrong with you two? Now you both look like you've seen a ghost. Did y'all go out there to get some kind of plan together and try to scare us? No, Barry, honey, I'm telling you, there's something out here. Billy went lying. Oh, Amber, don't be so silly. Mom and David, I'm not being silly. There's something out here. It's a goblin or something. It's not a dessert, I'm telling you. Oh, okay, okay, you guys succeeded in scaring me now. You can stop pretending now. Yeah, Lucky, you're going to give these kids bad dreams. Look, this is not a joke. Why will you guys not believe us? I believe you. Lucky, was that your dog? No, I don't think so. I think he's doing the house. <laughs> I think it's time for the little ones to go to bed. I'll help. But I don't want to go to bed. But I'm not tired. Yes. Is the goblins going to get us? Sweetie, there's nothing out there. And if there is, we have nothing to worry about. The good Lord will watch over us and protect us. Oh, but I don't want to go to bed. Lucky, what in God's name are you doing? I'm going to protect this family. That's what I'm doing. Don't you think you're taking this a little too far, Lucky? Very, honey. 
I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you all something. You and this family are all I got in this world. And I'm going to protect it. Bill Ray, grab your gun. We're going to take care of this. There's one of them. Hey! Hey, we have guns! Get out of here. What do you want? There's another one. How many of you are there? There you go. Now you're all pretty again, aren't you? Still no luck? Not today, sweetie. I think I'll try again in the morning. Well. Maybe if you wake me up before you leave, I'll go with you. It's like that. Supper's ready on the table. It's already getting cold. Well, I'm ready. I am too. All right. Something going on at the Lamford Sutton Farm? Sounds like some kind of commotion over there. Well, I should go over there and take a look. I'll go with you. Oh, you should probably stay back. Dad, I'm not a little kitty. Besides, so Mary's over there. Go check on her. Oh, all right. Uh, well, maybe I ought to get a light and we'll go check it out. Get out of here! Go! Get out of here. They're everywhere, Lucky. Yeah, I know when I see them. We want to get it for protective house, so we keep stand down here right now. Come on, get out of here. We are not afraid to shoot! Okay, Billy Ray. I'm going to sit right down here with you, and I'm going to wait, because I want to see exactly what you two are strung up about. Miss Glenny, I really hope you don't have to see what we're waiting for. I just hope those god-awful creatures go back to whatever deep, dark hole they crawled out of. Look inside, look inside! Those are gunshots. Maybe should we think about going over there? Yeah, I don't want any of y'all to get hit by a stray bullet. Billy, have you been hearing what's going on over at the Sutton Farm? No. What is it? Is, is it, it monsters? monsters? Jinx! Well, just listen. You'll hear it here in a minute. Gunshots? What do you think is going on over there? I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh... A dog? Billy, you better get home now and be careful. All right, I will. Bye, Billy. Bye. So what are you saying, guys? A long run, you hit him with that 22, so it finds out he'll be shot down. You ready? I'm gonna watch this guy over here. He just, it seemed like I didn't even hit him. I know, we can't hit the damn thing, it's gonna kill him. I think I see him way out there. I'm watching this, uh, you just hit him again. He ain't hurt him. He's just bouncing back and forth. What are these things? I have no idea. I don't think that's no real yet. You just watch us, uh... I'm gonna send these things back to the hell they came from. I'll tell them what. He hit him again. He just fell down there by this. Oh, it's one of this. Hit him. Now he's over here. I see one over here. 
it. That is crazy. I think there's another one. Yep, there he is, see? Ah, right between his beady little eyes. Oh, you got him though. No, they got back. There he goes! Huh? Damn! What are these little sons of bitches? I've never seen anything like this. Even the freak Maybe. show we work with, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Think we should go back and check on them real quick? No, I, JT don't pay. No They're holding down my house. They're okay. We've got to watch them out here and keep them away from the house. I think it done ran off. I'm not seeing anything. I ain't moving. I think we're starting to move. Where'd they go? I don't know. Maybe they're planning an attack. I don't know. I think they're gone for right now. I'm not seeing nothing now. Maybe they left. I want to see his fireflies right now. I hope they left. Well, I don't know what these things are. I don't know when. Keep this up. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. I don't see anything else, do Let's head back to the house for a yeah, while. Yeah, let's go up here and see what's going on. I don't think we're going to scare them off. Now you see what I was talking about? Yes, I do, Billy Ray. Mama, what's out there? Mama, I'm scared. It's gonna be okay, baby. It's gonna be okay. What is it, Mama? Barry, you got little kids in the back room you had. Don't come out till I tell you to. Can check on everyone. And maybe we should we go check the house and see what's going on up there. I don't see them all right now. I think it's done. I don't either. All right, let's go check the house. Mm -hmm. Lucky, over there. Look, there's one. Shoot, son of a bitch, Billy Ray. Where'd he go? There's one right there. Right there. I got him. Oh my God. I don't see anything. Watch out. There's one over there. Look out, Lucky. Yeah, you hear him. They say you watch that side when they don't want somebody to get this house. I keep hitting them, but they just get up and run off. I'll kill them again. Keep hitting them. There's one over there! Look up in the tree!
I see one coming, oh my god! Close the window, don't let him see inside! I'll get that son of a bitch! I see one over there! Get out of here! Go! Miller, get your ass back up here! I'll go around there after them vines. Get up here! I think I chased it away. I think that one's gone for sure. Yeah, don't be running off like that. I'm gonna pop up anywhere. There's one over there! I'm trying, but it's so difficult to see them out here. I don't think they're down now. I don't see anything else. I think you're right. Yeah. It's easy back up to the house. Try to get the family in the car and get out of here. Alright, uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here a few minutes and see if all is quiet. We can see that's mess out there. And if all is quiet, we're gonna try to get that truck. We're gonna go to town. We're gonna see if we can't find us a map. Show to God, somebody will help us, okay? We're gonna sit here a few minutes. If it's quiet, we're gonna get out of here. See anything, Bill Ray? I don't see anything right now. I thought you were gone. I seen that light, <laughs> but I hope you're gone. I believe you're gone. I believe we're gone. What do you think? I think we should go when we can. Yeah, I don't see anything. Right. I think we should get out of here. Let's go get some help. Alright, we're going to go to the truck. We're going to be out of here. We're going to town, okay? We're going to get some help. Did someone try to come to your house and hurt you? No, not someone, but something. What do you mean by something? Wild dogs or foul cats? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You don't understand. These were little silver men with big heads, big eyes, and they were just floating across the ground. Okay, you were attacked by little men with silver heads, big eyes. Listen, listen, I mean, we've been gone by with these things three hours trying to keep them coming in the house. Are you going to help us or not? All right, all right. You just take a seat. Let me give the chief a call. Hey, this is Chief Greenwell. What? You got a family down there that's in hysterics because they've been doing what? They've been fighting what? Maybe they saw something else. Sir, I'm sure what, what they're telling me is the truth. You need to come down here and see this. This whole family, small children, mother, sons, wives, they're all here talking about all this. Hey, I get down there as quick as I can. Keep them calm till I get there, okay? Okay, I'll do the best I can. Well, I'll see you in a few. All right, so he's gonna bid down here as soon as he can and see what we can do to settle this situation. Oh, how fast is that? All right, what's going on in here? Well, tonight we were going to run into the house. Hey, guys, sorry, I'm showing up. We all started shooting in the house. All right, let me make a few calls and uh, we'll go down there and see what's going on. Uh, I don't want to go back. Not to, not until those things are gone. 
All right, why don't you stay here at the station, and when it's all clear, I'll radio somebody to come pick you up. Does that work for you? All right, let's go. It's okay. Real life aliens. That's what they said. It has to be a joke. No, I don't think so. From what I was told, this whole family scared out of their wits, kids and all. Now, I'm not saying it was aliens, but I think that family saw something. Oh, Joe! This is it! I know, I know. Oh, if we could just get one photograph of them and then... Matt, well, let's go before we miss our chance. It came flying from that direction. It went back there behind the house. That's where it landed. So, tell me, exactly how big do you think they are? Oh, they were about this tall. But they weren't walking on the ground, they were right. floating across. What are you doing? I'm telling him what happened. Well, I think they've heard enough. I think we need to get in the house. All right, Marky. What about Wait! Wait. Yeah. Wait. 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 Can we make sure any more questions about this? Come back! So where are these supposed little green men? I want to see them. My husband is not a liar. Suppose hell. There was just one right there above your head in that few minutes ago. And they weren't green, they were gray. So what do you think, Chief? Do you think this is all a hoax? I don't know. I've, I've asked every member of the family. Uh, all the stories are the same, even down to the last detail. So uh, I'm not sure. Huh. What is it, Chief? I'm not sure. It seems that the closer we get to it, the further it moves away. But I don't see any footprints. I don't see any spaceship. And I don't see any little men. It's time to go. Let's go. Bang, cat. Now I've checked the entire house out, okay? There's nothing under the bed, nothing under in the closets. Check the entire house out. So everything's fine. Are you certain of this? I'm absolutely certain. Checked all the corners, under all the beds, all the closets. Completely empty. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I wish we'd seen one of those creatures. Lady, if you did and you were as scared as we were, you would drop that camera and run like a whipped cat. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for protecting my family tonight. Only you know what those things were and if they were here to harm us or just here to be curious about us. Thanks for protecting us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Get 
Dad and Billy Ray fought the little men for the rest of the night, making sure they didn't try to enter the house. The last little man was seen about 5.15 a.m. The night was over with, but would they be back? That was a fear that would stay in their minds for the rest of their lives. Y'all get on in here. I need to talk to y'all. Now, I know last night was crazy. What we've seen, we can't explain it. But I want it behind us. I won't forget it. Mama, we, we can't even talk about it no more. I just want, I don't want to hear no more about it. How do you forget something like that? Mama, you heard them last night. They were making jokes of us, laughing. You know, I mean, we, there's no good gonna come out of this. We gotta let it go. Put it behind us. I don't hear more talk about it. Just forget it. Mom, uh, JC, old Peggy and I, are going to run to Evansville, okay? We're going to get some furniture. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Okay, we just got to forget about all this, okay? All right, just put, try to put it behind you. Uh -huh. You'll be fine. We'll be back shortly, okay? I will. I'll right, be Mom. fine. Okay. okay. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Well, boys, be I'm safe. Okay, see you, OP. I'm going to go hunting with Bobby. I'll be back shortly. Okay, please be careful and please be back before dark. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What do you suppose they're looking for? I'm not sure. Mama, you better come and look. What is, what is it? How are you ladies today? Well, much better than last night. Well, that's why I'm here, to talk about the events of last evening. Well, what is it that you want to know? We done told you everything last night. Well, I just want to come out and check the facts. Is that okay? I suppose that's fine. Now, tell me what you really saw. Did you really see those? We all did. And I hope I never see them again. Now, they were little men with little eyes that glowed in their head? No. Their eyes weren't little. They were huge. So where are these little green men now? Well, I don't know. The men ran them off. I just hope they never come back again. Can you just tell us in your own words what really happened here last night? It was the scariest night of my life. Can you elaborate? Well, I elaborated last night. What do you want us to elaborate on? I'm Bud Ledwith with, with WHOP. Do you mind if I interview you? I suppose you could come in. Bud Ledwith, an announcer at the radio station WHOP in Hopkinsville, came to the farmhouse to interview the family. The women talked to the young man one at a time and gave him descriptions of what they saw. Come on in, Mr. Ledwith. Yes, ma'am. Now, Ms. Langford, I need you to tell me exactly what you witnessed last night. Well, Mr. Ledwith, they were the most unusual thing. They stood about three feet tall. They had these large heads and large ears. They had these spiny little legs. As a matter of fact, I don't think I ever saw their little legs move. They kind of floated above the ground. When that clawed hand came down to grab Billy Ray, my blood went cold. 
It was terrifying. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I hope they don't ever come back. They had the largest eyes I've ever seen on anything living. Their eyes were just so big and glowing in their arms, they almost touched the ground. Later that day, the men came home and gave their descriptions of the little beings. I have never experienced anything like what we went through that night. They were a gunmetal gray, and every time we shot at them, it was like hitting tin buckets. Pew, pew, pew. Bullets was just a bouncing off of them. They were all over the place. There was nothing we could do about it. I'm going to tell you something. First of all, I really don't feel like talking about this. But I would shoot them on some of the bitches. They just drop and roll and come back to mold. I would say they were about three or four foot tall. And they had these big glowing eyes. I couldn't stop looking at their eyes. Now, can you believe it? Can you believe the nerve of these damn people? I'm trying to make money off what happened to us last night? I'm just gonna give them a taste of what we had last Elmer, night. Elmer, Elmer, no. You can't do something like that. I want them to leave. I know. I, I will handle it. Okay. But, no. Can you do something about these people? My family has had a long night, and we're tired, and we need some rest. I'll try, but I don't know if it's going to do any good. Please, it would be so appreciated. Now listen up! This family has to rest. They want you to leave their property, so they'd appreciate it if you'd leave. people wouldn't stop coming. Everyone wanted to see where the aliens had come to visit. Dad was getting very irritated. But what was he to do? What's wrong, Mama? I don't think they're ever going to leave. I know. Oh, yeah, they are. I'm just going to make them leave. No, don't! We've had enough gunfire on this farm. We don't no, need no, to make no, any no. more of a spectacle of ourselves. We do not need to make any more of a spectacle of ourselves. No. Okay, Mama. Spokesman for the crowd told us how something resembling a spaceship or flying saucer had landed at the back of the house near Kelly and 12 to 15 men. 12 to 15, 12 to 15 men? Billy Ray, what'd you tell these people? I told them what I saw. You know how newspaper journalists are. They blow everything out of proportion. Well, they just try to make a well, story. Well, they sure blow this out because we were 12 to 15 men. Shh, shh. And the story that he told went something like this. It was around 7.30 on the night before that a group of people were visiting in the home of Cecil Lucky Sutton near Kelly. Cecil? He was seeing a spaceship land in a nearby field, and in the following few minutes, the house was surrounded by little men dressed in green, and they were about four feet tall. One and of the they men climbed up on the roof of the house and grasped at the hair of one of the local residents. One or more shots were said to have been fired at them, but the bullets didn't take any effect. And when the residents had the chance, they came to Hopkinsville and Madisonville also to get the officers who returned to the scene, but nothing was found. Days pass and people were still everywhere, knocking at the door, wanting more interviews and wanting to investigate more. No trespassing signs were put up on the property, but the people still kept coming. Lucky, this is ridiculous. People aren't even this bad in the city. We have no privacy here. I know, Bill Ray, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm getting my tired of it. It's pitiful. I mean, Glennie's not going to have anything left if they keep coming around and taking it from her. Well, I'll pay. I tried to tell her the other night. I tried to tell her. I tried to get her to go, let me go out there the other night and take care of it. She wouldn't. Oh, my God! Now they're looking through the windows! See what I'm talking about? If Mama would have let me down when I wanted to the other night, I took care of this. Yeah. But it would have upset her, and I didn't want to do that. No. That's the only thing that stopped me. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have nothing. I just, I don't know. I just, it's just, it's just everybody, man. It's just, it's just really, 
making me ill. I, I remember one thing, I wanted to get out here and cool my head. Well, where are y'all going? We're going to see Miller Red Thomas for a while. All right. We've got to get out here so I can cool off. Or, or I'm going to wind up going out there and doing what I'm going to do at night. And it's not going to be a good outcome. It's going to upset Mama. Yeah, don't do that. So we're, we're just going to get out here and go see Bill Thomas. All right. Me and Bear's going to go. And okay. We'll be back. I'll tell you. Just go for it. Like the crowd? Yes, yeah, be careful. All right. Bye. Touch it. Don't get too close. Good morning, Lucky. What you up to today? I'm not in a real good mood today, Billy. All them people at the house are about to drive me crazy. Oh yeah, I heard what happened. Sound like y'all had a pretty exciting night. Kinda wish I'd have been there to see him. You really don't mean that, Billy. You really wouldn't want to see what we no, saw last didn't. night. Well, what seems to be the problem? You know, last night we went to town, trying to get help, trying to figure out what the creatures are. We got people we don't even know taking over the house, taking over the farm, Taking everything we own. The law don't believe us. The investigators don't believe us. Old people's hanging around out the house. They don't believe us, just making fun of us. Well, I believe you. I'm ready to pack my bags up and go back home. So, uh, what's wrong with the old bike, Billy? Well, a couple of days ago, I ran over a big rock. Popped the chain out. That'll do it. Hard to fix it back. Uh, you're good at fixing this kind of stuff, Billy. You can do it. I hope. You're becoming a nice looking young man. Thank you. Yeah, you all grown up a little bit. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while. We well, just remember just thought we'd uh, come over here, visit you, clear ahead a little bit. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's nice to see y'all. Yeah. It's good to see you too, bud. We well, like I said, we just want to come see you before we left. I'm going to with you a minute. She's ready to go home, so I gotta get her packed up and get her home. Be trying to get away from her place. So, yeah. But like I said, we're gonna get out here and, and we'll see you next time. And take care of yourself. Alright, All right, I love you. Love we'll you. We'll see you, Bill. Well, you sorry. This is. Nah, you are, right, man. <laughs> see ya. See ya, Bill. Watch out, it'll be all right. I know he always has. Yeah. Well, you'll be all right, but I still worry. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I can leave you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm gonna miss you, Miss Glenn. Oh, Billy Ray, I'm gonna miss you too. Y'all come back and visit me anytime. I'm not ever coming back to Kentucky. June, I understand why you feel that way, but. Come back to see me, okay? Y'all come back. Sure will, man. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Take 
Several weeks had passed, and the investigating seemed to be over with. The interviews had finally slowed down. Grandma just couldn't handle things around there anymore. The fear was there every night of the creatures coming back. She had decided to move into Hopkinsville. She was able to sell the farm pretty easily. Glenny's niece and nephew bought the old farmhouse and what land it had. So this is the spot? This is it. See that burn, burn the perfect circle all the way around? Yeah. All the way around. I don't want you walking out there on it too much though. It might be nuclear contaminated. I don't know what it down to the ground. Okay. But this is it. Do you think it'll ever come back? Baby, I hope it never come back. I just hope it never come back. The lives of 11 people were forever changed on the night of August 21st, 1955. Billy Ray and June Taylor were never heard of again. The fear of the little men coming back would forever be in the back of everyone's mind. Even those of us who had heard the story all of our lives, that fear is forever ingrained. Will they come back? As the stars pass them by Rust builds on his hole Punched tin roof He's dreaming of the feeling of flight You know they always told him It was all in his head And all the missing tracks and moments past Were sent up in a frenzy Black magic brings great tragedies While blue static flashes secretly What doesn't see so silently Sky. 
still read your lies Call out, make your signs Tell him his birth right Soothe him with sky has come alive to live for endless nights in all due time in all due time in all due time in all due time, all due time. love grows from a new man's found truths he shivers in the warm cascading sight trust builds as he makes a blind leap he's bouncing from the confines of fright you know they always told him he would only wind up all the missing tracks and moments past and sent up in his blender instead. But bright white magic brings new fantasies while the blue static flashes secretly but doesn't see so suddenly. So dramatic the end of time we see what calm Cymatic in our destinies They bring us close to unity Probably just a jet or a satellite. Can you be certain of that? How do you know that that's not something otherworldly up there, looking down on us right now, watching everything we're doing? Well, I can't be a hundred percent sure, but I think we'll be okay tonight. <laughs> All I got to say is, if something comes knocking on our door, you're going to be answering it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 